Tuesday today. It's Tuesday today and I am doing a market on Sunday which I am so excited about. I absolutely love doing markets. So right now I am going to do a little stock check to see what I actually have because I made a lot for the last market I did and it if you didn't watch the vlog it wasn't the best in terms of sales but I'm still really glad I did it so basically I still have a lot from that market which is obviously really helpful to me right now um, so I'm just gonna go through my stock see what I have see what I still need to make I have a few crochet things that I want to make for Easter for this market and I also have some like Mother's Day product ideas that I have in my head that I would like to make for the market too so there are there are things that I know I need to make so far but I believe I do need to make some more pencil cases possibly but and notebooks but let's have a little look if you don't know I keep all of my stock in this little draw unit from Ikea and it's literally perfect so in here we've got scrunchies don't think I will make too many more scrunchies as you might be able to tell a lot of these haven't actually launched yet um because I'm waiting to do a whole collection but the time just hasn't been right and I have a whole lot of masks from the last market so I might take them as well lavender bags um i mean i still have quite a few so i think they're good face pads i made a lot of so they're good pencil cases i'm definitely going to make some more of i think definitely a hedgehog one Marrow bags, they're pretty good. And then, yeah, notebook covers, I literally just have one of. And I want to make some key rings too. And as you can see, this is mostly like Christmas stock left over. Pretty much what I was, oh my god, this one, um, what I was thinking. I'm now going to just make a list of everything that I need to make so then I can get started with cutting out when I can I also really need to tidy the studio because it is a complete mess <laughs> again story of my life it feels like Saturday, which is the day before the market <laughs> and I don't think I have ever seen the studio this messy and it is stressing me out quite a bit because I've literally just been manically cutting and sewing and just not putting anything away but is at the point where it's stressing me out so I think I'm gonna do what I'm about to do and then tidy it up and then I can go on with actually sewing. So I'm just about to do some block printing. I, feel, I think I was speaking about this before. They look like this if you don't know and I'll show you a little time lapse of me doing it. I've got a few um Oh my god words <laughs> a few notebooks and a few cushion covers to print and then we can get on with sewing i haven't actually got that much to sew today all i've got to do 
is okay this might sound like a lot <laughs> but i think it'll be fun two cushion covers two notebooks three project bags and two pencil cases saying it out loud sounds quite a lot but i'm gonna just get going and stop talking i it's currently half 10 and i've been cutting out the project bags and notebook and the cushion covers this morning and no joke that literally took me about two hours hour and a half honestly i don't understand how cutting out takes so long it it really is my least favorite part of the process but anyway let's just get print block printing and stop rambling on about absolutely nothing <laughs> Later on now and I have finished sewing for the day um and I've just got everything out and I like, laid it all out on the table to just kind of check that I have everything and I'm pretty pretty happy with it it's a bit difficult obviously to tell with it not actually set up how it's going to be but I think it will be fine. I think I've got enough. So. This is it. We've got. Notebooks. Marrow bags. Pencil cases. Reusable face pads. Lavender bags. Project bags. Key rings. Scrunchies. Masks. So. Yeah, and I'm pretty happy with the stock I've got of each. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do now. I don't know whether to pack it up now or... I don't really know. It's 9.30... No, sorry. <laughs> the market is 10.30 to 1. So it's a really short market, which is something that really kind of appealed to me. Because... I, and I also think that's really clever because then it just it gives people a shorter amount of time to be able to come so it will be busier because I, I went to the market a few months ago and it was a really really busy market so that's why I wanted to do it the set up is 9.30 till 10.30 I think so we need to leave here about 9 because about 25 minute half an hour drive so i will have a bit of time in the morning but then again i don't want to be stressed so i don't really know i'm gonna talk it through with my mum because she's good at this sort of stuff also my friend is very very kindly helping me again which i'm so so grateful for um and i'm really excited about it, so yeah hopefully i will actually vlog something tomorrow because I'm never very good at that, but I feel like this time I'm going to be better. I've put my card read on to charge. The only other thing is that I've made some crochet like Easter eggs to like hang. You'll see them tomorrow probably. Um, so I think I want to make a few more of them and I need to put ribbon on them. So I can hang them. And then also, as it's Mother's Day coming up, I did this new tote bag design. And I did it using free... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. The lighting is actually awful. But I did it using free motion embroidery. And I actually love how it's turned out. Um, and then this is the other one. So I think I'm going to put this up in the shop um, after the market as well as my project bags 
and a couple of the new notebook designs as well and possibly the eggs so yeah I used to do a little shop update because I've got some new things and I also need to post on Instagram <laughs> I I think I mentioned this last time but when I'm just not feeling myself I just don't post but then I make all these things and don't post about them anyway I don't really know what I'm going to do now but I've literally been I haven't been sewing all day but I've been sewing most of the afternoon so I'm going to go and take a break do some crochet and we'll see what I end up doing tonight and what I end up doing tomorrow morning good morning, happy Sunday happy market day I have just been packing everything up this morning I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing quickly because I'm wearing my jumper that I knitted for myself and I love it so much I'm literally obsessed look how cute I'm obsessed with the sleeves <laughs> and I love it I really hope I'm not going to be too hot though that's my only worry and then I've just got a little t-shirt underneath because it is a little bit um itchy but I think it's one of them where you just kind of get used to it um and yeah then I've just tucked it in at the front but I love it so so much and I'm so excited to be wearing it I'm wearing my necklace from Anna Luisa earrings which are from another small business I can't actually see <laughs> one's moon and one's star and they are from Sans and Reed but I'm not sure if she still has them on the website but if she does I will link them down below because I love them um yeah so that's what I'm wearing and I'm um, I love wearing something that I've made it just makes you feel so good doesn't it I'm going to pack the car now and then we 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 do a little bit we will be ready to go I think so I think it will fit in the boot, I haven't got, it's not that much stuff. My stuff like packs up really small, so that's positive. about a week or so um since the market now and i have finally got around to editing this video i really hope you guys have enjoyed this studio vlog i am really happy with how it turned out but i just finished editing the video and i realized i never ended it or spoke to you about how the market went so I thought I would do that quickly now the market was really really nice I really enjoyed it again it wasn't like super great for sales but I really like the people that were there were just really really lovely and I made a few sales which is always really really nice um, but as I said the people there were just so lovely like even if they didn't buy anything yeah i definitely like to do that market again i really enjoyed the atmosphere of it um compared to other ones i've been to and as you would have seen my friend annika very very kindly helped me so that was really really nice as well the reason why it's taken me a few weeks to get around to editing and uploading and finishing this video is because I've had a few of my um, practical GCSE exams 
these past two weeks so i've been busy prepping and doing them but next week i am on my easter holidays and obviously i'll be having be having to do revision for my gcse's but obviously i can't revise all the time and when i'm on holidays i find it so much easier to produce content and um, i enjoy it a lot more so what i'm trying to say is i hope to um be doing um a lot more consistent videos for you because a i love filming them so much i film all the time um but i then just get really like in my head about actually uploading it or I just can't get the motivation to edit. B, I once I actually sit down and edit, I really enjoy, enjoy it. And C, the comments, when I get like just, even just one comment on my video, or a thumbs up, it just literally makes my day so much. There is so many lovely people that watch my videos and I appreciate you so much and I'm so grateful and I'm so glad you enjoy and it just makes it so worth it because it feels like there's someone out there that kind of enjoys my content. The other thing I wanted to say is Monday evening upload is working really well for me. I mean I've only done it once <laughs> but um, I think from now on Monday evening is going to be my upload time. It seems just like a really good time for me. So we're going to try it, give it a go. I'm not saying to anything because we all know how inconsistent I am at the moment because of my mental health and various other things. So anyway, I am going to leave you to have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you've got to this point in the video, I appreciate you so much and it really does mean a lot to me. Um, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because that would literally mean the world to me. And I will see you guys hopefully next Monday for a brand new video. Bye.